What is the proper way for recording in Cakewalk? Two different type of tracks that you can do. Of course, you know you have your audio track and then you may have your MIDI or slash instrument track. So when you're doing audio, you want to make sure that the audio source that you're using is lined up with whatever type of track you've created. Now in some dolls, you may have to create either a mono or a stereo track. In Cakewalk, you create the track and then you can change it to what you want it to be. Let's go through the process of creating an audio track. You can press Control T on your keyboard. So Control T. And then once you have Control T, now you notice that it created a track. All right, but right now I'm looking for, and these are different properties of this track. I have my little symbol here. This is where you can put your icon. If you wanna put a picture, you have the name of your track. You have the mute, you have the solo, you have the record, you have the input echo. This is great for if I wanted to hear what I'm actually sounding like in the computer itself. So right now, I normally hear the audio coming from my audio interface, but if I want to hear what the computer is hearing, and put echo on. Right here we have the clips, we have the audio in transit, and we have automation. Here we have automation read, automation write, and then we have freeze track, and then we have archive track. We got the effects being over here. And here we have the input. This input is very important because it depends on what type of source you use. If you're using a piano or a keyboard and you have a left and right out, then you can run stereo into your interface and then you might want to set it on stereo. So here's my zoom. I'm going to go down and I'm going to set it on master in or two or one in in and two depends on what I have plugged up. Right now I sit on master L and master right. Well, that can work. It will record my vocal, but the only problem is that it's gonna record everything that's going into my mixer and also everything that's coming back out of my mixer. So which means it's recording my audio sound. In other words, if I have a click track on, it's gonna record the metronome or the click. And I don't want that in my recording. So I want a direct signal so I'm gonna go down to input one. Why am I using input one? Yours may look a little different type of device you're using. If you're using your internal sound card, you may only see three options. You might see left, it might not say master, it might just say left, it may say left, it may say right, and then it say left and right, or stereo. When you're dealing with microphones, microphones are monophonic instruments, okay? Or a monophonic device, meaning that one sound comes in, there's one cable and the sound comes back out. So you don't need to run stereo for it to work. If I was to run stereo, the only reason why I'm getting both sides now, and if I press record, you'll see I'm getting a signal. The only reason why I'm getting that signal is because my mic is going into my mixer and the mixer is sending this signal via USB interface which goes out left and right stereo. So this would work, but like I said, anything that's coming out of my computer would also be recorded. So I don't want that to the input. And I'm gonna switch this. This time I'm gonna go to input two. Now I have no signal. Why don't I have a signal? Because there's nothing plugged in channel two on my mixer. So I have to go to whatever channel's plugged in. In this case, I'm plugged into channel one. So when I plug in channel one, I'm getting both sides. And if you still gonna get both sides. Now, if I go to a stereo channel like this, input one plus input two, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna start recording and I'm gonna have that signal only on one side. And I don't like that because when I get ready to record, check this out. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna notice that it's only on one side. Now this may be confusing to some, but I don't want it on one side. Yeah. But let's say I did record it on one side and let's say I liked what I did, but I, can, I just don't feel like recording again. I like what I did. You can convert this to mono, all right? 
So you can right click and then you can go down to convert to mono. All right. Once you do convert to mono, now you're going to notice it should be on both sides. Yeah. Okay. And so now that you hear it on both sides, that's cool. But the way I originally should have did it was set this input to input one so that when I record now it's on both sides again. So then I can record. Do, 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 do. Record. Do, 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 do. Okay. And it's already set and now it's in mono, but it's coming out of both sides signal wise. So don't let that get you twisted. When you see it coming on both sides, it does not mean that it's in stereo. It may be in mono, but it does mean that it's coming out of both headphones. Okay. So don't let that confuse you. This is something that, you know, you have to play around with, but if you have more questions about this, setting up the audio tracks or anything like that, then let me know in the comments below. There are other type of tracks that you can have. Like I said, you can do a MIDI track or an instrument track. I have a video that talks about different tracks that you can create in Cakewalk. So if you want to check that video out, it should be popping up. Or if you want to check out another video that YouTube might suggest, definitely check that out too as well. If you have more questions about anything dealing with Cakewalk by BandLab, or I'm starting to really get into another DAW uh, waveform. So you have questions as, as I learn it, I'm going to start making more videos and tutorials about it. So, all right, take care of you all. Peace. Make sure you subscribe.